Hello everyone. Today is day one <coughs> of brain radiation, targeted brain radiation. Um, I'm not doing too well today. I'm really down and scared. It's mainly the consent form I had to sign for this that's getting in my head where it's talking about what could possibly happen and though it's usually rare my immunotherapy reaction was rare. I was in the 0.2% of re bad reactions the way mine happened. So I know that the rare side effects can happen. So I'm just scared. I'm down. I still don't feel well from chemo. This morning Ellis had his kindy 500 at school which was so much fun. I'm so glad we were able to go. Yeah, it was cute. Um, but we made the mistake of walking to school and apparently that was too much for my lung and it was really hard on me mentally and physically. Um, when I see the changes in my body that cancer has caused, it's uh, disheartening. You know, a five to ten minute walk to school and I was in agony. I was in so much pain. I tried to take a couple breaks but Ellis wanted to keep walking and I don't want to hold him back. So I came up with a genius idea. <laughs> I'm gonna get her an electric razor scooter. So she just looks like the cool mom going down the street. I'm going to be the cool mom. I know. Everyone's like, whoa, look at that cool mom with her electric scooter. So I'm going to order one on Amazon. Oh, my <laughs> sweetheart. Kyle's great about um, trying to help me. Well, it's blurry. Has it been blurry? Oh, no. Kyle's great about helping me come up with ways to disguise my struggles with cancer in front of the kids. And, you know, I can't do as much physically. And then with being sick from chemo, I can't do as much. So he's like, let's just be creative. Let's come up with ways that they don't realize you're struggling. They just see the activity that you're doing. So whether it's sitting down and painting, you know, they don't see my cancer struggles with that. They just see mom painting and having fun. So we're trying to get creative with our activities and stuff it's just you know we've we're a walking family we love to go on family walks and we usually wander around our neighborhood for however long just exploring and the walk to school I couldn't even hang it was it was a bummer and then when I see that cancer is doing this to me it scares me that it's only gonna get worse and I'll never be better because we're a year, tomorrow's a year from my diagnosis and it's only worse. Yeah. But you have a different type of cancer going on right now than you did before. So it's... How so? So it's taking over other parts of the lung that's like ultra affecting pain and... Yeah breathing and your shortness yeah, of breath. That's, yeah, that's true. So you're dealing with a different animal. And I'm a week and a half out of chemo. Mm -hmm. So it's like I get it and I give myself grace. It's just hard. It's just really sad. But we're going to go zap some cancer today. That's all we're doing today. Go zap it. Yep. Hopefully it goes well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I stay calm. Hopefully it's done soon. So I can be back with you. Yep. Go enjoy the rest of the day. These are my socks for brain radiation. They're from my best friend Melanie. And they are perfect for today. Makes me feel like she's here with me. And how can I not feel good 
with brain socks going into brain radiation. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny, you got this! Surprise, you. surprise visitors! We did, we did. And the cutest one, no offense guys, is Jory. Hi! Like Hi! Hey guys, I'm out of radiation. It went well. There's a um, pinata in the back. Is that from Tracy and Trish? Yeah. Probably all the Vander girls oh. on the I have gifts in the back. That's really sweet, guys. I remember Tracy saying before radiation, can I load gifts in your car? But I was not all there mentally. So um, anyways, I did brain radiation. Um, I have a headache right now, but I had a headache going into it. So chemo gives really bad headaches. I think it's just from chemo. Um, other than that, I feel fine, a little nauseous. Um, I feel angry. Bad? No. I feel angry. I hate this. I hate it so bad. I hate it. I don't know why I hate it so much. I don't know why it's so hard for me to do brain radiation. It is so mentally challenging for me. I don't know why. Just do it, Jen. And I did it. I did it. Great job. I did it. But freaking A, it is so hard. It's so mentally challenging. I don't know why it's so hard for me. You know, it freaks me out at all the side effects, the potential side effects. And I just have anxiety over cancer stuff in general. I'm an anxious person. Before cancer, I, I was an anxious person. You know, I have anxiety attacks in life, panic attacks, but it's like throw cancer at you, then throw it in the brain, then put these, you know, creepy scans on and uh, uh, I'm so embarrassed. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why I can't just suck it up and do it. And I did it. I sucked it up and did it. But you guys... I was trembling. I was physically trembling. You know, they say lay flat. You're gonna be laying flat for an hour. It was an hour, by the way. And I'm instantly thinking, crap, I'm gonna be in pain from laying flat. But it's the while laying flat part that's hard. The aftermath, I can deal with, but it's the while I'm laying flat that's hard. And they're saying, make sure you don't move, make sure you don't cough. Very seriously, you know. You can't move at all or the machine will stop and we can't do treatment. Um, then she's putting me down on the table and I'm telling them that I'm scared of the mask and she said everyone is. And then she's putting it on me and saying, we have to get it very tight so that you can't move at all. That's not what I want to hear. That's not what I want to hear. I thought like maybe it just holds me into place. But she just kept putting her elbow grease into it. Is that what they call it? Elbow grease? Yeah. She was just like leaning into it, pushing it tighter. You okay? You okay there? You okay there? You okay? Until it was really tight. Do I have a mark? I don't think I do. Um, and it was fine, it was fine, but I was terrified, and they said, you know, it's so precise that I can't move, I can't move. And you're telling this to someone who's an anxiety basket case, who's physically trembling, and then they give me this like donut to hold on my lap to keep me still. 
and I just keep moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it. I'm like trying to find a comfortable spot. <laughs> and the tech is like, do you want to do something different with your arms? I was like, no, it's just me. I will put them here and keep them here. So what I ended up doing was I had the little donut in my arms and then I had to push my elbows down like with all my might against the table to keep them from trembling. When I wasn't holding my arms, my hands were like doing this. And so I was holding my elbows down with all my might the whole time so that I wouldn't move because I didn't want to move. But my body was trembling and I couldn't stop it from trembling. I took the Ativan, didn't do anything. So Dr. Amini said I can take two next time. And then I'm closing my eyes. They told me, don't open your eyes. So I'm closing my eyes and they're saying, okay, we're about to leave the room, get started. And you know, all I keep hearing is don't move, don't move, don't move in my head. And I'm trembling and I'm like, well, I don't think my eyelids were trembling. They're like, never experienced it in my life. And I thought, well, I don't think it'll matter if my eyelids are trembling. Like, right? My head's in the same spot. Yeah. Um, but my eyelids were trembling. I was so scared. Why? I'm in my head, calming myself down, doing breathing te techniques. I did meditation before. I prayed. And I'm telling myself, it's no big deal, girl. You have done radiation 30 times last year. Sure, it wasn't on your brain. And sure, you didn't have to wear this creepy mask. And sure, it wasn't for an hour long. But you've done it 30 times. This is nothing. You can do it. You're fine. Like, you're golden. And I was trying to pet myself up. And no matter how much I tried to convince myself, I was still trembling. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. But I get angry at my body and mind for being that way. Because it would just be a lot easier on me if I wasn't trembling. You know what I mean? And like, you have to lay, you know, flat and perfectly still. I was telling Kyle, so, you know, they, t they tell you to lay flat. And, sorry for this bad lighting, I don't know what the heck. Um, they tell you to lay flat, and that you're gonna be laying flat for an hour. Me, I have pain when I lay flat. It's not the worst pain, it's just pain. It's like, they say, okay, go ahead and climb up on the table. All right, we're gonna have you lean back right here onto this thorn. We need to put this thorn in the back of your lung. All right, looks like we've got it in your lung. Is it hitting the nerve? No, it's not hitting the nerve. Okay, let us adjust it a little bit. Here, is the thorn now hitting your nerve? Yes, it's hitting my nerve now. Perfect, lay back and stay still, don't move. Now we have to get a thorn and put it in the front of your lung. Because, you know, my lung couldn't just hurt in the back, it has to hurt in the front too. And so then it feels like someone gets a thorn and puts it in the front of my lung. All right, now what I need you to do is take a deep breath and tell me if it cuts off your deep breath from pain. So go ahead and try. Oh, yep, you couldn't take a deep breath because of the sharp pain of the thorn stabbing in your lung? Then we will, that's perfect. We will leave you here and don't move. So then I have to lay like that for the hour and there's no way around it because my cancer causes this pain. So I, I just have to lay on the table with what feels like a rose thorn on the front of my lung, in the front of my lung, and on the back of my lung. And try to focus on my breathing and take deep breaths and stay calm. But then it hurts and I can't breathe calmly. Man, I'm a complainer. I'm sorry you guys that I'm so negative today. I don't mean to be. I just am really struggling today. And I feel defeated. And then the trembling on top of the thorns. You know. Ugh. But there was no pain in the brain radiation 
for anyone interested. My niece, Summer, is interested. Um, she asked me if it's going to hurt at all. So the answer to Summer is no, it doesn't hurt at all. The room was nice and cool, air conditioned, made me feel good to be in there, it was nice. Um, <laughs> I have a suggestion for anyone watching who runs the rules of the radiation setup. So Dr. Amini, maybe? Yeah. Here's my suggestion. We have to lay, you know, completely flat. Will you hold that? We have to lay completely flat, you know, with our hands holding this donut. I think I would have benefited from being able to like lay like this, holding my legs the whole time. Or a giant stuffed animal teddy bear and I could wrap my legs around it and hug him like this the whole time. I would benefit from that. Yeah. I think I would not be trembling as much if I were hugging a giant teddy bear during treatment. What do you guys think? I mean, I might be onto something. Maybe you could bring the big bunny next time. Right? Yeah, Pepper? Yeah. I think I'm onto something. Someone else receives brain radiation and wishes they were hugging a giant teddy bear. I bet you. Because my first thought when I was laying there was I wish I could be hugging you. Mm -hmm. But then you'd be... What's the word? Taking up too much space? No. Y you would be... No. You would be exposed to the radiation. Oh, I'll be exposed. Right? No, I wouldn't want you to be. Um, <clears throat> sorry for the fabulous hair everyone today. Um, they told me no products in my hair or on my skin, so I have nothing on. No makeup, no moisturizer, no deodorant, no hair product, so it's crazy. And this hair product, okay, they told me I have to use specific soaps and shampoos for radiation. And one of them was Dove, so I chose Dove because they no longer test on animals cool with me and the problem is I use more natural products and I'm so used to it because I've used them for probably over six years now and so when I use regular products like Dove the shampoo is so strong I can't stand the smell of it it makes me sick or it's the chemo making me sick because no, you're that way without chemo too. Yeah, I'm sensitive to you smells. Like I'm smells. sensitive to smells. Strong artificial fragrances, ugh, not my thing. Um, but, so I have to keep my hair in a ponytail because I can't stand the smell of the dove. Um, man, it was okay. It was fine. I'm just angry. Oh, and then, <laughs> let me tell you guys. I'm just a complainer right now. We, my, my radiation was scheduled for Friday, Monday, and Wednesday, and then I'm done. So, you know, having cancer in my brain has made me learn to live life a little edgier. And I said to Kyle, for the end of spring break next week, let's fly to Oregon to sit on Melanie's porch and relax for the end of spring break. My best friend has a farm in Oregon and wonderful children, wonderful family, and it would just be nice to sit and have good company because I'm scared with cancer in my brain. I'm afraid I'm not gonna have a lot of time, so I wanna live it up. And so we scheduled a flight for Thursday. I told my radiation oncologist, I got permission from him, and then today, they said, all right, your next radiation is on Tuesday, and the one after that is on Thursday. What do we think of that, Kyle? Yep, it was a little fresher. I said, well, I have a flight on Thursday, which obviously I'm gonna pick brain radiation over a flight, duh. But it's like, cancer has this hold on your life 
you, you can't do anything ever, right? We'll get to a point where we can't. And and my brother had requested days off to go camping with us this week. Originally, originally, but then brain cancer happened and brain radiation was more important. Sorry, Mike, we we don't get to go camping. So instead, we said let's do a fun little trip to Knotts because we have Knotts passes now and we'll stay at that same hotel that my friend Nee hooked us up with. We'll do that as like a family now with Michael and my sister. And so we scheduled that, we booked that. Now that's changed because radiation changed. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just a grump. You guys caught me on a bad day, sorry. But I am filming because I'm trying to be honest and show what it's like. It's, sometimes it's happy, sometimes it's sad, sometimes it's romantic, believe it or not. Yeah, baby. Always romance and here. sometimes I'm angry and fed up. Mm, but I'll be okay. Oh, I feel better venting, getting it off my chest. Do you? Yeah. It's just weird how out of control my body is. Or my, I don't know if it's my mind or my body when my body is like trembling on the table. I'm like, come on, Jen, you're fine. Chill out, girl. And she just keeps shaking. Sh trembling, trembling. It's bizarre, it's so bizarre. But overall, it was fine. I'll say some positives about the experience because you know why? When you bring up the positives, feel better, right? Yep. So you want to know my positives? They let Kyle come in today for today's treatment. He's not allowed to come in for all of them, but they hooked it up to where he can come in today and he can come in for my last one, right? Yep, Thursday. So I was happy that I could have Kyle in, in there with me. I was so grateful. Another thing, um, the kids are with Gigi today, Kyle's mom and they love her so much, so I know they're having a blast. That gives me peace of mind and makes me feel good, so I am grateful for the kids being with Gigi. Yeah. I went down a new hallway today at City of Hope and a new room for radiation. It was not where I went last time, last year for radiation. This is the brain room. This is the brain room, and I showed them my brain socks and the tech told me these were the prettiest brains she's ever seen. Um, so I liked the brain room. It was really nice, it was fancy. I liked the techs in there, they were all so nice. They understood that I was scared and they like talked me through everything. I was very grateful for them. Her name was Kat, but she was a nice cat. Not a yeah, cat. she was nice. Which cat did you talk to? You, I only know the cat that turned you down at ETC? No, it was different. Good. Different cat. Good cat. She was mean. Um, but these techs were very nice. The air conditioning in the room was nice. It was like fresh, crisp air. I felt like I could breathe well. Very important when you're about to have your face screwed down to a table. It was nice air. It was very nice air. Good. Then they're going to put the mask on me and I'm terrified. I'm scared and it starts to touch me and I realize it's got a slight flex in it it's not like rock-hard plastic oh, okay. it's like kind of flexible flexible plastic so that made me feel a little more at peace because you know it's a little softer than I thought so it seems less harsh and then it was cold to touch I like that I was hot and scared so I liked the cold mask. Cold touch. Felt good. They put it on and I was trying to like trick my brain into thinking like, cool, you're at a spa. You're getting some spa treatment. That's why intense spa. <laughs> um, some other positives. I did it. I did it. Yep, yeah, one down, two more to go. One down, two more to go. 
I stayed still, baby. They told me don't move. Ooh, you better believe I didn't move. If you know my brother Michael, I was like Michael. I was not moving. If you know my dad, Warren, and they tell him don't move, mm -mm, he ain't moving. That was me. I wasn't moving. Me, I'm like, eh, I'll move a little. <laughs> I was not gonna move. I got an itch in my nose. I'm gonna move a little. Oh, I did get an itch on my face at the very end. Yeah, I know. And I thought, of course, but that was nothing. Um. Oh, I'm a wreck, you guys. What are you doing with me? I need your help. Fix me. Fix my brain. Please get rid of the cancer and <coughs> the anxiety, I guess. Is that what the trembling is? Anxiety? Yeah, your anxiety was super high today. Yesterday. Gosh. Dr. Amini told me to take two out of van next time. He was like, yeah, I can see it didn't affect you at all. <laughs> yeah. So I must have looked like an anxious basket case. I'm sure I did because I do now. But you did great. Yeah, he kept saying, it's gonna be like 20 or 30 minutes. I'm sure I remember that's what they said. And I'm like, no, I think it's an hour. And he's like, nah. And then the tech comes to get me. She's like, okay, she's gonna be back there for an hour. And I saw Kyle like, uh-oh. I said, oh, I'm gone. He was scared for me. That was a hard one. It was nice knowing you were in the waiting room. Yep. Me and a lady, she kicked off her Crocs. Just had her cozy socks on oh, the chair. Oh, that's nice. And we were watching Animal Planet. That's Great. Nice. It's good stuff. Hopefully some of the cancer is already dying. Yep, it is. I don't know how quickly it works. Right away. Sorry for being a basket case today, you guys. This is, this is my mind during cancer, during brain radiation, apparently. No. <sighs> Hopefully I'll get better with brain radiation. Only two more to go. No big deal. Easy. Easy? Mm-hmm. I just think I would have felt better. You know, I like yoga and I thought like even <laughs> if I were in the yoga position, the happy baby, I would have been more content and able to stay still better than just laying flat. People don't know happy baby. People don't know happy baby? No, people don't know happy baby. <laughs> well, Google, I'll insert a picture of happy baby, and I think I would do better if I were in that position, laying in those machines. And it's weird, sure. I think it would be easier to do it in a y yoga position like that. I don't know, we'll see. Kyle took me to lunch, apparently. See in the background? That is Madre Tierra, a vegan restaurant in Upland. Um, let's go eat. If you have an appetite. Hello everyone. Since you've seen us, we had lunch. Whew. And I, Sorry. I took a nap in the car because I wasn't feeling well. And we wanted um, Gigi, Kyle's mom, to have time with the kids. Um, so I took a nap in the car, and then we were at Nordstrom Rack mm -hmm. to get water so I could take my medicine, which by the way, I need to take my medicine. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and then we thought, let's look for something fun while we're there. Someone sent me a gift card to Nordstrom, so I was like, let's look for something fun that'll cheer me up since I'm having a bad day. And while we were shopping, one of my cousin's friends walked up to me and told me she knew what we were going through and she was praying for us and that she wanted to pay for everything we were buying and she gave us money. And it was the sweetest thing in the world to have someone care like that. You know, sometimes walking around in public, you feel, or I feel, like, I wonder what people would think if they knew what was going on. If they knew I had cancer in my brain and in my lung. And in this case, when people know 
they're kind and they care and they pray for me and it means so much and let me show you what I actually bought. Where is it? <laughs> and this is one of the things I was buying. A bracelet that says gratitude. So this will forever be from you. I think your name is Vanessa. I could be wrong. I'll ask my cousin Tracy to confirm. But I think this that your name is Vanessa. Um, so this will always be from you. It says gratitude. It means so much to me that you did that. That was so sweet. But mainly the prayers mean so much to us. Um, so thank you so much. You guys are so amazing and I'm so grateful for all of you. Questions do you guys have about radiation? Hi, Flower. Um, no. You know what Summer's Fred, question was? Albert. She wanted to know if it hurt at all when they did the radiation. I was on your brain. But does it hurt? It was on my brain, but, Lady, you're right. It did not hurt. Uh, it did not hurt at uh, all. It mommy, did not hurt my brain at all. My hair looks like funny, see? Your hair looks funny? Yeah, see? Uh -huh. You don't like how Gigi combed it? No. Well, it actually, well, I just said it was funny because she was wearing glasses a little funny. You look good, Winnie. I think you look she nice. Wore sunglasses in the back. Very nice. Fancy. I was just saying she looks funny so, because her glasses were like this and I <gasps> think it was funny. Oops. Well, yeah, that's funny. Do you have any questions about radiation? Yeah, I said it doesn't hurt. My eyes it doesn't hurt. On your brain, mommy. I think stars on your brain. You think there's flowers on my brain? Oh, that would be nice. You think radiation put flowers on my brain? That would be really nice. <laughs> it might hurt because they grow. In yeah, we don't want the flowers to grow in my brain. Yeah, then it might grow out of your head. Yeah, I like that. And it'd be easy that way. Any other questions about radiation? Did they pull off your head and stitch it back on? No. I don't see any stitches. <laughs> no? no? What makes you think they would do that? Um, maybe they took out the cancer and then they pulled mm. it out and then put it back on. They do stitches? open some people's heads and get the cancer out like that. Ooh. But mine isn't big enough in my head to where they can do that. So they just radiate. But that's what's really scary. They they know what they're doing. They're professionals. Because then they can see your brain. Yep. And brains are scary. Yep. I have brains on my socks. I feel like I haven't seen you in 10 years. Auntie Melanie sent me these socks with brains on them. What do you think? Because you have brain cancer. Because I have cancer in my brain. Cancer. It's not brain cancer. It's just cancer in my brain. It's lung cancer in my brain. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Were you a good boy for Gigi? Can we are home it? with can our beautiful I open babies. Can I open it? Yes, and we are going to open can some gifts I just, um, from the I Vander Aunties. Oh, so who are the Vander Aunties? Oh, 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 Do you guys remember who the Vander Aunties are? Yeah. Auntie Trish. Auntie Auntie Tracy. Auntie Tracy. Auntie Stacy. And Auntie Stacy. <laughs> and Auntie Melanie. And Auntie Melanie. Those are the Vander sisters. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Auntie Melanie's not a Vander sister. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> no. But they all know each other. Yeah. Bring yours down here, Rose. All right, let's come down here. What you do is you pull the cloth. Oh, hey. Okay. Somebody likes the color red. Yeah. Thank you. It's my oh my gosh. Turn so the camera can see you. waves. Look at that. Oh. Is this a dress, Mommy? Let's see. Hold on. Oh. That is not a dress. What does it look like? Are what does it look it? like? Look at that, Ellis. Is this a Oh my gosh, it is a dress. That's a shirt. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I want a princess dress. Oh my gosh, Look is at this is it? Ooh. Oh. 
Oh, that is awesome. Look at this color. Look at this color. Oh, that's my favorite. And it's a pinata. Do you know what you do with pinatas? Oh, look at this one. Really look at this hard. One. And that's why they put Oops. cancer on it. So we're going to beat it up. <laughs> oh my goodness, do you love everything? Do you love all of your new clothes? Uh-oh. What do you say? What's that? Thank you. Uh, silly string. We can do that in the backyard tomorrow. You want to see the picture? Jenny, you are magical. That's very nice. Pause. Sometimes we need to pause. Yeah, let me read it really quick. Can I read? That's what I did with the Ooh. So we could do the stick or the silly string on the pinata. Awesome. Uh -huh. Winnie might prefer if we did the silly string on the pinata. I want to hit it with the back. Ellis well, is beating it up right now. Breaking it in half. So we pretend that the pinata is cancer and we take out our aggression on. Well, wait, let's the wait a little bit, buddy. Pinata. That's a let's wonderful wait a idea. Bit, buddy. Thank you, Tracy. What are you? What is he doing? He's ripping it apart. No, we gotta beat it up, Ellis. Yeah, wait a little bit, man. Here you go, babe. Our word is hey, there's something else. Hey, get that out. Are you doing that, Abby? Don't eat anything. You can't eat magenta flower. We don't eat magenta. We don't eat cameras either. No flower. Oh, look at that. We can go see a movie. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Very nice. That's a nice indoor thing we can do. We can go see a movie. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, that's not the Bell. Oh, oh the Bell. A nectar gift card. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You guys know I will get good use out of this. I love nectar. I'm obsessed. I think I have a problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ellis. What? You know, I was feeling really... Wait, I'm not Alice. Ellis. You know, I was feeling really angry towards cancer today. You were? I was. So this is a great way for us to get out our anger towards cancer. We are going to pretend that the unicorn is cancer. You see it has a note on it that says cancer. Auntie Tracy wrote that. And she said we could take out our aggression on it. Yeah, take that cancer. Get it. Take that, cancer. How do you do that? Yeah. Want me to help you? Oh. No, I can do it with my thumb. Yeah, take that. Say hi, ya. Uh. Do some cool ninja moves. Yeah, Winnie, Winnie's you got it. That. Yeah. All right. Look at her. Get it. Take that, cancer. See you later, cancer. Good job, Ellis. Okay. Take that, Cancer. Take it. Okay, now everybody back up, back up. Look, give Daddy a turn. Everybody back up, back up. Winnie, come to me. Hold my hand. Okay. Let's see how strong Daddy is. All right, this is Cancer, right? Okay. All right, look here. I don't want to hit the light. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys want to hit it hard? Yeah, I want to. I do. It. Hold on, let me get another stick. I just want to do it. I have another. Well, no, stick. we don't want wild sticks. Yay! I want to get it. Okay, Winnie, now give Ellis a turn. Watch out! Whoa. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out. Job. Okay, can I have a turn? All right, mommy's turn. Watch out, Winnie. Okay, Come here, Winnie. Oh, okay, you ready? Show Cancer what's up. <laughs> hey, Cancer, what's going on? You look real good. Oh, oh wow. Oh, you look real good there, Cancer. Oh, that Cancer is destroyed. Oh, oh, good ball. She got a light too. Take that look. It's, it's, really, bright. it's really bright now. Shining the light down there.
Take that, Cancer. Uh. Oh. That's right. Take that. Else finish it off. Yeah. See ya, Cancer. Have a nice. Oh man. That was good. Day. Whoops. Cancer. Yes. Shoot up. <laughs> yeah, rip it up. Rip it up. Shred it. Oh man, we just finished attacking the cancer pinata in the backyard. And I have to tell you, that was wonderful. If you're angry at anything in life, <clears throat> get a pinata and put its label on there, like cancer, yeah. and beat it up. It felt so good. Didn't it feel so good? Yeah, I was, I was really satisfied. Thank you for that, Tracy. I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I was really, really struggling today. Like, really struggling. Feeling so angry and... You know, I can't help it, but I'm so angry today. And that's just what I needed. So thank you. We also got these from one of Kyle's co-workers. Tired. These beautiful yeah. bracelets. Which, which co-worker was it, Sweetie Pie? That, um, Anna. I don't remember her name, but I, Diana, I, Diana, you wanna say? She works uh, with Mr. Fernandez. That, that's what, what I did with cancer. Thank you, Diana. I pulled it on the wall, and then I threw it in the dirt. You threw it in the dirt? Yeah, and I threw it. You threw it, good job, They're buddy. so beautiful. Thank you. Everybody, what do we say? to the, the Auntie Vanders. Thank, Thank you for Auntie everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything, Auntie Vanders. Thank you for everything, Auntie Vanders. Thank you for everything, Auntie Vanders. Thank you for everything, Oh, and Aunt Sandy and Uncle Mark sent yeah, you guys some bye. things. Do you remember what Aunt Sandy and Uncle Mark just recently sent you? <laughs> this is one of them. And Winnie's bear is over there. Your rainbow bear. And some dresses. You wore one of your dresses today, huh, Winnie? And those books. Uh -huh. And oh yeah, bye so bye. many books. Can you, guys, hey, bye bye. can you guys say thank you to Aunt Sandy and Uncle Mark? Thanks to Aunt Sandy and Uncle Mark and the Auntie Vanders. And the Auntie Vanders. I think you licked my thumb. I think you licked my thumb. Sorry if I was an emotional wreck today. But it happens. We made it. I did it. I did it. I made one day of brain radiation. I made it through. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling tired. Light headache. But I'm okay. Love you again. Love you again. Bye.